Hey guys, today's tutorial is about how to cut out text from any object you want in Affinity Designer to create text effects like this one, for example. And we're using Affinity Designer version 2 for this, starting with a new clean document. And first of all, we of course need um, our text. So we navigate to the artistic text tool right here, click on our screen and type the text we want to cut out from an object. So for example, cut out in this case and select the text, make it bigger of course, and choose the font you want. So I will choose Leto and Black for this. And now we simply need the object we want to cut out the text from. So we could use any shape um, or any curve we want to. We could also create one with the pen tool or change some um, shapes with the node tool, but we will go with a, a simple rectangle in this case, creating it like this, like, our text and now adjusting a little bit to the right and to the top and moving it underneath our text in the layers tab and now making sure that everything is in the middle so like this for example and now the text and if we are satisfied and uh, with the position of our text and the form of our object we are cutting out the text from we have to make sure that the text is above the object we want to cut it out from in the layers tab and then simply select both by holding down command clicking on the one object and um, also on the text and if you're using a windows pc use control instead of command and after that go to boolean operations right here in the top bar right here and then click on subtract to cut out the text and to make it even look cooler, you can now um, select this curve, but keep in mind that after cutting out, you can't change the text anymore and the positioning. So keep that in mind before cutting out. And now to make it look even better, we can go to quick FX, we can go to outer shadow, 50, 50, and depending on um, your, your choices, your um, preparations, for example, 75. Um, you can make it pop out of the background with this shadow effect and you can adjust it to your own needs. Also adjust the color of the background and the curve if you want to. And if you're now adjusting the color of the curve, you're um, adjusting everything because the text is cut out. So it will always display the layers underneath this curve. Yeah, and that's gonna do today for today's video. If you enjoyed watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you in the next video and bye. Thank <laughs> you.